Hello and welcome. In this episode we are going to make realistic spring motion recoil system. Just like that. And if you want to get the whole project, you can get it from my Patreon page. I have link in description. And if you want to support me as a developer, you can wishlist my game Raise Your Tribe on Steam. It is cyberpunk survival game. And of course you can join my Discord channel and ask any questions here if you want support for this tutorial or upcoming playtest. But yeah, let's start making this recoil. And you have to watch my previous video about realistic handsway, like that spring handsway, before you are going to do that, because we are going to use that also in our recoil. So, first thing what we want to do is to actually create new custom event. And you can put it anywhere, it doesn't matter, but I will put it firing and aim. And then you can call that, for example, spring recoil. Yeah. Next thing what we want to do is to actually add new timeline. So search add timeline. And that you can call, for example, recoil timeline. No, we are actually using it. So spring recoil timeline and then play on start then open that and let's create new float track and length would be something like 0 0.2 and then we want to add two new keys and first key will be time 0 and second key will be time 0 0.2 no actually yeah time 0 0.2 value will be 0 and that first key value will be 1. So it goes to 1 to 0 in that time period. Then we will make new variable. You can promote that track to variable and call that, for example, spring recoil value. Then hook it to update. And yeah, basically that's it. But we need to actually add it everywhere uh, pistol fire and rifle fire but now we are going to add that to rifle fire you can add it after those basically uh, basically yeah somewhere there it doesn't really matter and now you call spring recoil good now when we shoot we are actually calling that event here but this doesn't do anything yet we have to actually go to handsway floats and here we are getting those most inputs to use handsway like you see this goes down and up and we want to use that same same like system now so basically what we can do is to add add node and we are adding that spring recoil value and then hook it to mouse y and now it should actually work yeah, we have that spring spring motion on our recoil. Yeah. And one thing what you can do, you can add a little bit side movement if you want. This is of, of course optional. It's up about how you wanna it look. But I could probably divide this by five, maybe four, and then hook it here, and then get mouse X and put it mouse X. Now we have a little bit also side movement in our recoil. And you can actually do that same thing to our side movement. So it rotates a little bit left and right randomly. Yeah, that is, that is correct. And we have that item data table and we have that procedural recoil amount in every weapon. And we of course want different weapons have a little bit different recoil amount. We can use that value in our spring recoil. You can go to your rifle fire and copy that node because here we are using it. And then you can paste it here. And now basically what you can do, you can take your procedural recoil and then multiply it. And multiply it by new track. And then you can paste it here. So 
now we have different recoil amount for different weapons. And if it's too much for you, you can of course divide it. So now it's half. Let's see how it looks like in game. Yeah, we have a little bit recoil here. But in AK we have more recoil, as you can see. But of course you can choose those values and play around with. I would probably divide also this one. But it's up, up to you. You can choose. Yeah, now it's working. Thanks for watching and yeah, see you next episode.